Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC and I'm here for a carving, a very special carving. We've got our ATC, a 2.2 kilowatt water-cooled motor installed onto my Onefinity Elite woodworker. Um, I've got a small piece of stock here. We're gonna basically have a, a tool change. I'm gonna use two bits uh, during this carving. A roughing pass using the quarter inch uh, Jenny end mill. And then we're gonna switch over to the, or it, the machine is gonna switch over to the 16th inch tapered ball nose for us. We don't have to touch it. Um, it's gonna do the job, switch over, and we're gonna run the entire carve. It's probably gonna take about an hour or so for it to actually run. Um, we designed it in CarveCo, and in CarveCo, I did have to tell it the tool numbers um, so that it knows which tool to go and pick up and start using and then put it back. We can go into greater depth of setting up the ATC and all that stuff in later videos in the next uh, month or two as I'm wrapping up uh, the development of this great product. Um, stick with me and let's, uh, let's start carving. We're here with my Elite machine. This is the woodworker size. Um, I've installed our spindle kit, um, our ATC specifically. Uh, this is kind of a preview. We're gonna show you the uh, carving. I'm gonna do a 3D carve of the Mandalorian so we can play with that. You can see a tool change operation in, in, in yeah, tool change in operation. So we've got a quarter inch uh, Jenny uh, down cutting, uh, end mill um, that's in tool number slot number two slot number three we've got the uh, tapered ball nose the 1 16th inch bit um, and basically we're going to use the uh, end mill for the uh, roughing pass the tapered ball nose for our um, finishing pass um, so nice little simple little carving this is only a seven inch by six inch um, stock so it's going to be real easy real quick carve I hope you found that carve fascinating, um, as fascinating as I did with the, with the tool change there in the middle. I did not have to touch it. Um, I did come over and I had a little clog in my, uh, in my extraction tube simply because I'm not using a uh, large enough tube. I've got a, uh, the fine Turbo One down below. I've got it triggered off from the IoT relay. I've got the version five of our enclosure down there with the aluminum panels. That is really sweet. You guys will love that. It's got the uh, plug-in braking resistor, um, which you can get, um, we'll have more details on that later. Uh, but it's also got the alarm output for the motor, um, along with the alarm input for the motor. So the motor talks to the VFD and says, hey, I've got a problem. And then the VFD basically prevents power from going to the motor. So got the alarms covered. And of course, there's an alarm output on there, which then goes, feeds back into the, AT, into the Maso so that if the motor has a problem, the VFD knows, and the VFD tells the Masso and says, hey, pause everything, you've got a problem with the spindle. Um, all that is uh, part of the ATC package, and we're gonna basically nail down all of that functionality. And I'll share more about that later. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, and if you if you'd like, you can reach out to support at pwncnc.com. We're happy to help you directly. And remember, don't just own your CNC, dominate it. Okay, hopefully, hopefully you hopefully you found that. Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and I'm really glad you're able to view us or join us for this really cool video. Um, I'm going to be running a simple 3D carve, um, which uses two 